This is the LED cube I made. It's 5x5x5, five by five by five, uses green LEDs and is controlled by an STM32F4 discovery board. Making the cube was relatively easy, although relatively time consuming to solder and program. Each LED in a column had their anodes connected in parallel, and each layer connected the cathodes. This configuration forms a matrix of 25 columns and 5 layers. This does mean that to light up the LEDs in any desired pattern, the layers must be cycled through. This isn't a problem because it can be done multiple times a second, and with a persistence of vision effect, it looks like they're all lit simultaneously. I programmed a 3D snake game to play on my cube. I used a broken PS2 controller and wired the potentiometers directly to the ADC pins of the STM board so it could read them and move the snake appropriately. A food piece will randomly be generated in an empty position each time the snake eats one. The snake will grow by one LED for each food piece eaten, and your score will also increase by one. As expected, if you hit yourself or run into a wall, then the game ends and reads out your score. This was one of the first projects I made that wasn't for university that required a significant amount of programming. I'm very happy with how it turned out, although there's still several things I'd like to add. It was all programmed in C using the Keel Microvision IDE. And here's a demonstration of the rest of the animations I made for the cube.